Welcome to Lecture Online. In this video, we're going to introduce you to what we call the system matrix. What is the system matrix? It's the matrix that defines what happens to a ray that travels through a thick lens. Notice the information we have about the ray as it enters the thick lens is the angle relative to the horizontal and the distance of the entry point relative to the optical axis. What we're trying to find is the information about the ray as it exits the thick lens, which includes the distance away from the optical axis, which, by the way, could be negative. In this case, it's drawn as a positive quantity. And the angle relative to the horizontal as it transitions through the second boundary of the lens. Notice that here are the two matrices that define the information about the ray as it enters the lens and the information of the ray as it exits the second boundary. And here are the three matrices that we then utilize such that when we multiply the information of the ray going into the lens by these three matrices in this order from back to front, we end up with the information of the ray as it exits the lens on the other side. Now these are what we call the refracting matrices that defines what happens to the ray as it crosses the boundaries one and two. And this here is the, what we call the transfer matrix that defines what happens as it trans transitions through the lens from one boundary to the next. When we combine these three matrices together as a single matrix, this is then called the system matrix. Sometimes they do use the subscripts like two and one to indicate that it's from boundary two to boundary one as we multiply those matrices together. So when we write it like this, this includes the three matrices combined. Here we have the definitions of the rays as they enter the, the lens and the rays it transitions across the boundary or transmits on the other side of the second boundary. And D1 and D2 are defined as the power of the two surfaces, which is equal to the differences of the indices of refraction on both sides of the boundary divided by the radius of curvature of the, of the surface or of the boundary. All right, now let's go ahead and represent this in a matrix format. So we can write that A is equal to, this is the system matrix, the product of these three matrices. So this is the second boundary. So end up with a 1, a 1, a 0, and a minus D2. We have the first boundary. We can put that over here. Notice that will be the matrix 1, 1, 0, and minus D1. And then the transfer matrix looks like this. It has a 0 up here, 1, 1, and here it has the distance it travels through the lens divided by the index of refraction of the lens. Now we can denote this by N sub L for the index of refraction of the lens, and D here would be the thickness of the lens. When we multiply these two matrices together, they will look as follows. So we'll keep this one intact. So this one here is 1, 0, 1, and minus D2. We multiply these together, we have 1 times 1 plus 0. We have minus D1 plus 0, so that would be minus D1 on this side. Here we have 1 times this plus 0, so that would be D divided by N sub L. And here we have this times this plus 1, so we have 1 minus uh, D divided by the index of refraction of the lens times D1. Let's make sure we have that correct. So this times this plus this times this, that's correct. So we're almost there. Now we need to do one more multiplication. So this will become a slightly bigger matrix. There's a lot more stuff in it. So we have 1 times 1 plus this, that's a minus, so we have 1 minus D over N sub L times D2. 1 times this plus this, so we have this plus this. Wow, we've got to be careful, that's a minus D1, minus D2, and those two cancel out, that becomes a plus, so we end up with minus D1, minus D2, plus, this times that, that would be small d over the index of refraction times d1 times d2. Remember, d1 and d2 are the powers of the two surfaces. And then for the bottom row, we have this is 0 plus this, so we get d divided by n sub l. And then we have this times this. This gives us 1 minus d over 
n sub l times d2. And this is what we call the system matrix, which defines what happens to the ray as it travels through both boundaries on both sides of the lens and through the middle of the lens. And this will tell you what happens to the ray as it exits the second boundary, given the information as it enters the first boundary. And that's how we do that. Let me check to see if I got this correct. Okay, one minus that. Hey, something is not right here. Am I doing this all wrong? Am I gonna do this all over again? Hey, let's see, let's see. Oh, holy schmoly. Gotta do it again, sweetie. Okay. From the beginning. You know what I did wrong? These are upside down. Is the distance, ah, oh, that makes sense when you think about it. All right, 